Hello Capricorns! What is up? Welcome to Flavored Vivid. For those of you guys new here, my name is Carissa. The way that I do my readings is intuitively. I like to start off in your etheric energy, ground it down to the physical with some general messages. I pull a spread on your finances and career. I pull a spread on your love life and then I close that with spirit guide messages. Okay, so Capricorns, I have got the best message this week. I know you guys hated me last week. I mean, but for the best, like it was like that weird Saturn tough love thing. Um, but this week, your messages are so in alignment with like when you put in the work, when you take the accountability, the reward is so great. OK, first of all, I want to start by saying you guys have a lot of abundance showing up for you in multiple areas of your life. However, um, I want to talk about the titles of your guys's reading. So I titled your guys's reading um, I in the thumbnail. I put it's in your hands. It always has been. And we're going to discuss that in just a minute. And then. In the title, I put slow the slow down that speeds up abundance. So what you guys are being guided to do right now um, is basically you're you're being guided to go into this like hermit mode. Now, if you guys don't know the story of the hermit, the hermit is the one that goes within for all the answers. The hermit, uh, you know, takes this trek up this mountain and is only being guided here um, at the top of the mountain basically meets a star okay and the star you make a wish on the star right and um he's guided now by that guiding light now there's other different stories here but this is the one that spirit wanted me to show you you had to go through the darkness okay you were like trailblazing uphill through the darkness capricorns um and you had to learn how to turn on your own guiding light all right and this is perfectly in alignment with some astrology that we have going on on right now um but what spirit was showing me here was a brand new canvas and um there's nothing painted on it that you have all the tools you have everything that you need to create what you want but you don't know what you want to create and that's the fucking problem capricorns again it's in your hands it always has been and so if you don't have a clear direction a clear picture on what you want and you're not following that inner heart you're not following what lights you up Okay, you're not following that passion that's screaming from within. You're always going to feel that void of, I don't know what to do. Okay, and Spirit's telling you, like, you have the wisdom, you have the tools, you have everything that you absolutely need for this new beginning. So you need to slow down in order to speed up your abundance. Now, your abundance can come in all forms, right? An abundance of health, an abundance of happiness, peace, money, love, uh, supportive connections, whatever it may be, right? Um, but it's like an abundance of this here. So by slowing down and going within and re reconnecting to that navigating source within you, okay, reconnecting to your source within you here, your, your power, reclaiming your personal power, your will, there might be something going on with your uh, solar plexus as well during this time right now. Um, but this is going to help your manifestations quite literally. This is like what propels you. You also take flight with, okay? So um, and then we have the queen of pentacles right behind that in the upright. So I love to see that because that shows that really stable, grounded, concrete, I'm hearing concrete energy, um, Capricorn. So right now, a lot of people with the, well, anybody with the Scorpio and Pluto, it's a generational thing. So check your birth chart here. But if you have Scorpio and Pluto, you're really being impacted at this time right now. And this reading is really going to heavily resonate with you. Okay. The reason being is because of this Jupiter Uranus conjunction that's coming up and it's specifically revolutionizing and unique and new ways. It's so the way that you revolutionize is going to be unique and new to you. OK, unique and new to you. This means changing the way that we transform healing depths and reaching um, these deeper depths here. We have more capacity to hold more energy, to hold more light, to be more creative. So basically what spirit is doing is like, you know, OK, perfect. Thank you. That's fucking great. That is great. So basically right now, Capricorns, you guys have had like your learner's permit, right? Think about getting your license. The only reference I have to getting a license, though, is in America. And I do want to state that firsthand. OK, so let's just say you're getting your license. And in order to get your license in America, you do have to have a lot of like uh, student hours or practice hours. And so you've been going through all of these like practice hours is what Spirit's showing me here. Um, and be, when you have practice hours, you have to have a like uh somebody who's over 18 in the driver's seat with you 
Okay, meaning like an adult figure, somebody who has a license in the driver's seat. I don't remember the rules or exactly too much anymore. I mean, that was a long time ago for me. Uh, but that's what I'm getting, Karen. It's like now there's nobody in the driver's seat. You have your own car. You are insured. You are a licensed driver on the road. What are you going to do with that type of freedom? And you see, and now let me explain this here. Everyone, uh, everyone is going to be getting the same opportunity with this newfound freedom because again, you're, you're transforming your ways of transformation. Okay. Which means that the ways of transformation, the ways that you transform your reality, the ways that you manifest, the ways that you're, you connect with uh, your interpersonal relationships in whatever form that they look like or uh, manifest as. Um, but everything is deeply on the cellular level, healing and transforming, which is really beautiful. And what card you guys got directly aligned with that. And that's what made me think of this conjunction here that's coming up. It's card number 35, the violet flame. Okay, now the violet flame is all about like karmic board clearings essentially all these belief systems that are just no longer in alignment this card says transmutation detoxification psychic vision and constant distraction so what this is doing is this is eliminating your constant distractions however they're being highlighted first and that's how spirit because you're like oh i want to do this i want to do this well spirit's like okay but look you're constantly distracted by this or you're constantly thrown off by this so it's like you can't create that because you're not painting i'm giving you the canvas i've given you the paints i've given you the paint brushes but there's this energy here of again you don't really have a clear picture of exactly what you want what does it look like what does it feel like what does it fucking smell like okay um and i need you to really embody that and become clear with the vision the more clear that you become the more you can consciously co-create with the universe and bring in this abundance and i feel like this is becoming more evidently clear as time goes on or as this transit really impacts you and passes through um it, it definitely is going to bring in again like like I said, a lot of abundance here. We also have the crystal kingdom, slowing down materialism and psychic debris. Again, what beliefs are not aligned with it, you any longer? You see, in this age of Aquarius authenticity, you're already seeing it here. We're already watching all of these celebrities and everybody, this death of like celebrities. Nobody cares about what some rich person has. Nobody gives a fuck about anything that is just inauthentic. Nobody gives a fuck about these influencers selling their Colgate and, and their vitamins and all this other bullshit. Nobody cares about that anymore. Nobody. The only thing that's going to survive is your authenticity. And so unless you're following your purpose, you're going to fall off and then you're going to feel more void. So this is your opportunity to essentially recalibrate my cat is literally crying uh, recalibrate um he wants to go outside so like all these if there wasn't a bunch of cars i would have this but like this whole thing like opens into the outside so he's used to it being open and he's not happy about it right now so if he's meowing just apologies on his behalf here he's just being a cat but anyways um let's see here a lot of you guys are really focused on um your home life, okay? There's a lot going on within your relationships. For those of you guys that have been doubting yourself really recently or just needing to hear this, you are a very loving parent and friend, okay? I feel like saying coworker as well, for whatever reason, I feel like you're a very generous individual and you haven't been giving that credit lately, but I want you to understand and not personalize this because everyone in this world is going through something right now. There's a lot of really strong collective energy and that's why Spirit's saying it's really important not to get caught up in the distractions the collective energy and really center back down into your focus to create the reality that best serves you and your soul's journey okay um a lot of you guys are looking for new ways to manifest i definitely see a lot of privacy here i'm hearing privacy 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 okay um private property i'm also hearing so there's just a sense of like um make sure that you have solid boundaries um Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are definitely recognizing maybe, again, your beliefs can be changing in regards to social media, 
okay? Your beliefs could be changing in regards to social media or maybe the way that you use social media, okay? There's something there about that. Again, privacy. I don't know about you guys. I deleted my Facebook. I, I, I've, I found myself deleting all these sites. I don't really ever scroll or do much on certain sites anymore. And when I do, I am active and I am like, you know, interacting with people or liking people's stuff. But when I'm not, I'm definitely not. I'm just silent, disappeared, not scrolling, not doing anything. Um, so there's, there's something here about like your discernment on that Capricorns. All right. You're definitely making the right decisions for yourself. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Oh no, love. I'm so sorry. Um, in regards to love, we have date and the butterfly. So there's a situation between you and another person that is slowly evolving. If you are in a serious connection, I feel like you and you, the individual that you are dating here are really moving into a next phase of dating. Or if you guys are just like getting to know each other, you're moving into the next phase where you're going to be more committed to each other. Okay. Um, there's definitely a sense of like really healing your inner child, certain belief systems and moving forward here uh, with that growth. Like I see a lot of exponential growth within you and your connection. Um, and again, this could just be new people too. Like I always consider it matters of the heart when I'm doing general, unless I'm doing like uh, long-term relationship or relationships and singles. But lately I've just been doing one spread and whatever the most important message is and just taking it in as needed so i it also can come up as matters of the heart because that's my intention as a reader behind it i pull up the matters in your heart chakra and what this is is um some of you guys could be this could be a friend an old friend coming back around okay as well for you guys uh some of you guys this is again just ooh. This is a very healing time if you do have an old friend coming back around, okay? Um, now, if this friend has blatantly disrespected you or traumatized you in any type of way, we're not talking about that type of individual. However, we are talking about some sort of friendship that may be dissipated at some point in time for whatever reason because life happens, right? Um, and it seems like you and this person are going to be reconnecting, okay? Uh, it does feel like a beautiful connection in some sort of way. Um, so if you're feeling guided towards that, again, that might be an avenue for you. Uh, for others of you guys, though, that just might not be your message. It is a Mercury retrograde right now, and it's just not uh, the best time necessarily to be taking back exes or people from the past. Um, but for some individuals, it is because, again, it depends on individual growth and birth charts and so many other factors that we're just not going to get into here, okay? Um, but we also have cultivate self-awareness, create accountably. And I feel like that's really what you're doing. You're taking accountability. You're like, okay, listen, this happened because I was being lazy. And so, for example, great ways to take accountability. And it could be in the most minor aspects in your life. Um, this week, obviously... I set my nail appointment for whatever reason because she had offered me so many, you know, like 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, like 30 markers. I, in my head, had the 30 minute marker, right? So I showed up at the 30 minute marker and it turns out my appointment was at 11, 15, not 11, 30. <laughs> So those are easy ways that we can take accountability. Like, obviously, if I would have had more time, I could have actually gotten the nails that I wanted and the design that I wanted on them. But because I showed up late, that was at my own consequence. You know what I mean? And that's where it's important for me to better, exactly, we'll use the cards that you guys have to better slow down, right? To better, like, really go within and be more intentional. And so that's a great way, uh, hopefully a great example for you guys of what that might look like in your day-to-day -day life and like the most minor aspects you know maybe you forgot to sign like your kids um field trip slip i don't know why somebody here you need to sign your child's field trip slip okay i don't know if your kids are going on a field trip soon or something like that but you need to get that all settled um yes confirmation confirmation coming through here all right let's go ahead and see what we have pulling live on camera though for the capricorn collective Tell me about how it's in their hands and always has been. What do they need to know this week? What does the Capricorn Collective need to know this week? Thank you to all the benevolent beings and spirit guides that are with us today, bringing forth these messages. Messages. Okay, we have flowers. Ooh, and beware. Interesting. I see that you're very generous right now, okay? You're definitely in alignment here of like your internal reality manifesting externally. There's a lot of, it says be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. 
Literally, that's what this card says, okay? Um, flowers, card number 11. And then you guys got card number three, and it says, beware. And it says, be careful who you trust at this time. Interesting. Capricorns, I am going to actually pull a card on that because I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Communication, threes. Okay, hold on, Communication. You're going to get some sort of communication here. Somebody's trying to telepathically communicate with you, but this person's third eye is a butthole, okay? Seriously, this person's third eye does not work. Yeah, like I said, ten of pentacles in the reverse. There's somebody, it could be a family for some of you guys. Be careful of family during this time. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who pretends to be, like, loving, but they're not. Um... Yeah, the Seven of Wands and the Devil card. This person's about to come towards you with some communication, some sort of fuck shit here. Four of Pentacles. Okay, uh, Spirit's asking you to hold back. Uh, don't be so quick to trust during this time right now. Be careful of any... Um, this could be even an aunt as well for me. The Queen of Cups is just any like matriarchal figure. Very, typically very nurturing. I mean, and they want to come off this way. I can see this, but it's like... <laughs> I feel like they just want to see if they can tempt you because they see you in your power. There's something care about no longer having access to you with the Four of Pentacles. Um, but they want access. Page of Cups in the reverse. But this person's not sincere. Nine of Swords. They're just, they're recognizing, whoever this is, it's, it could be a Cancer by Scorpio again. It doesn't matter. But this individual is like recognizing what they did and they're seeing that you're better off without them too which is like fucking with their ego yeah page of wands in the reverse but even at this at the point of like this person coming towards you with some sort of information here page of wands in the reverse like they're just trying to it's like they're trying to trigger you the two of swords in the reverse and the wheel of fortune in the reverse oh, goodness this person wants you to stay in the same cycle that they're stuck in unfortunately so i would just be aware again of who you're letting into your life who you're trusting at this point in time ace of pentacles exa exactly <laughs> especially as like you go into these brand new beginnings the death card and go through this metamorphosis i'm telling you pluto's playing a huge role right now specifically if you do have um your pluto and scorpio you don't have two i'm just saying this is definitely coming through very strongly the magician card in the upright as well like i said you have all the tools and everything to get through this interesting energy right off the bat cappies you already know that but again warning for whoever needs to know that whoever is dealing with that my loves um this person and what's interesting is this beware card has a chameleon on it um so i feel like this person really has a tendency to kind of just blend in with everything uh seven of cups and create lots of illusions and confusions like with their motives and intentions towards you but uh, i feel like this person still wants to just kind of come forth and drain you y'all the two of pentacles in the reverse it's ten of wands this person basically their motive for coming towards you is because they're overburdened right now and for, in whatever way you're this like nurturing spirit to this person i don't know i don't like it whatever all right just watch watch your back let's see what we got you're protected though obviously it's just a warning for someone out there nothing to fear messages please for capricorns messages please thank you we got two so we have the galactic vibration personal conviction raising your resilience and being a direct channel we'd love to see that your pluto's in scorpio infinite being thank you for the confirmation overall energy we have angelic realms here a team effort charity validation and patience spirits asking for a little bit of patience during this time and then you also have card number 31 breaking down to the number four um and this is temple of mary emotional expression playful and it innocence and exploitation you see the thing is is there's something here about the exploits it's like somebody wants to exploit what they think you're naive or your weaknesses they they want to capitalize off of your weakness interesting but the angelic realms are stepping forth okay because you are like this direct channel in whatever way for this person to learn through this message has been coming out a lot lately again it has to do with all the death and transformation and and there's a lot going on in a lot of individuals lives okay um we could also be experiencing 
a lot of i've said this over the past few months here but you're going to be seeing during this pisces and saturn transit that we've been experiencing since like last summer you're going to be seeing a lot of death a lot of transitioning unfortunately and i want you to know that everything uh that's maybe not the best thing to say i'm saying this as you know my own my own dog has passed on okay so you know i i've experienced it firsthand too and i'm aware of what that is however i've dealt with death my whole life i'm an eighth house so unfortunately everything i love dies and transforms <laughs> all right anyways but i send so much condolences to everyone around um and this death can be figurative as well in regards to career paths this death could be in regards to like long-term relationships um Again, anything that you identified with very heavily. I feel like there's a lot of death right now for Capricorns. What's coming up here is also in regards to like identi identity. What do you identify? with like did you identify with a certain tax bracket did you identify with a certain label of a job like who are you without that job what are your true passions etc all these things are really coming forth right now okay um some of you guys are feeling like you can't trust your intuition three of cups and i feel like again it's just some sort of distraction third party energy there might be somebody here who's too in your etheric field so make sure that you are cleansing and clearing your energetic centers capricorns capricorns thank you Ooh. Capricorns is a lot of energy right away. Um, the Eight of Wands clarifying this galactic vibration here. You could be receiving a lot of messages here. Some of you guys are very busy. You're feeling very energetically a little bit over, all over the place. So make sure, again, you're recentering yourself, all right? A lot of you guys have a lot of plans, a lot of activities. You, you're kind of... Mm -hmm. there's a need to slow down again you slowing down speeds up your abundance in all forms it's okay to say no you'll have more opportunities is what i'm hearing for whoever needs to hear that temple of mary we have the death card <laughs> you can have scorpio in your chart obviously you don't have to though but just with this coming up again this is that pluto and scorpio transit that we're experiencing right now or the will the uranus conjunct whatever anyways that transit right now is really impacting but for the lot of you guys it's just the way that you're transforming the way you transform i can't stop saying it here and uh, for some of you guys there might be a scorpio who's trying to like exploit you in some sort of way but the more that they try to come for you the more that I, um it exploits them okay in some sort of way it's kind of like this vice versa it's an end to the hatred uh you're transforming the way that uh you handle negative energy thrown at you hierophant you're really working with god the universe source whatever you believe in here eight of cups and you're walking away from anything like it's like people can't use certain things against you any longer because you own who you are all right again you're transforming transformation differently and anybody who has not had the opportunity to you know take this new path and take these leaps of faith aren't going to understand that um you're working really closely with the archangels as well capricorns there's something care about like uh, rituals or prayer okay and there's going to be a greater sense of purpose and you're going to really release these high okay so you're going to release these high expectations and find a greater sense of purpose here coming forward so all of that criticism that others try to basically place onto you you're no longer placing that onto you obviously in a healthy way yes of course but in the unhealthy way of where it creates almost no momentum or this like stagnancy um energy that is going to be what dissipates all right um there's a lot of stability that's coming forth and you guys are going through an ascension process essentially okay you're ascending to higher levels of consciousness and the higher level of consciousness that you send to the greater that your reality um basically can become okay let's go ahead and see what we've got this week for general messages capricorns we're going to be using the 144 deck creating illusions dream attacks is there right away breaking up on the deck you guys could be having some sort of dream attacks nightmares okay feeling like you can't sleep i'm hearing disrupted sleeping patterns as well you and your loved ones are shielded and protected spirits letting you know okay i feel like your your dreams right now 
it's weird like the dream attacks you're not remembering capricorns you're just remembering your weird ass dreams right now some of you guys are dreaming of things like war and stuff i don't know that's you guys should look into dream interpretation or maybe you've been searching like dream interpretations lately you might have been waking up tired for some of you guys if you've been waking up tired that's how you know that you've been going experiencing like dream attacks all right you can protect yourself though um you can spray some florida water on your bed you can there's so many different things go with what you want i mean you could pray um you can put crystals under your pillows you can you know cleanse your room set intentions before you go to sleep you can um ward and protect your room your windows etc i mean whatever is right for you okay um that let's see what we have all right capricorn you got two cards that fly, flew out confession and oh okay we have greedy individual you benefit them and then it's time to invest your money we'll clarify that we have confession feelings being expressed so somebody's going to confess some feelings to you we have powerful aura divine in the flesh yeah a lot of people in situations experiences um are being attracted to you right now you're definitely not doing anything to gain the attraction like you're not uh, you know how like some people like go above and beyond to like get attention and you can tell <laughs> like they they just whatever you're not trying to do that okay you're just the type of person where it just naturally comes to you um there's something about that like you're a natural m magnet to what you want right now capricorns Eve messages please your perseverance is about to be rewarded we love to see that we have it's going to get easier spirit is hugging you you've been through a lot and the final card for capricorn is you are safe I love to see it. All right, bottom of the deck, Capricorns, we have self-mastery. Manipulation no longer works on you and creating a generational wealth. By slowing down, you speed up your abundance. I will say that over and over again. You have a blank canvas in front of you guys. Spirit is literally giving you all the ingredients. If your ass is too lazy to go cook the food, that's on you, okay? That is on you. You cannot blame anybody for the situation. Ew, we have fatally obsessed with you and spiritual inheritance so somebody's like fatally obsessed with like what you're getting yeah a lot of you guys are ascended masters in the flesh okay your success and glow up is part of their karma capricorns i feel like you guys always get that <laughs> i really feel like you always get that it's so funny uh all right let's see what we've got here let's start clarifying and see what's going on right away picking up the deck we have the full card underneath and then we have the ace of wands so definite new opportunities coming in new pathways opening up for you capricorns for sure yeah listen to your intuition tell me about greedy individual you benefit them messages please for capricorn the chariot card a cancer a mother for some of you guys this could be somebody at a distance. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this is somebody that you're no longer investing into. You know this person's a waste of time. Yeah, I don't know why I'm hearing call a spade a spade. I don't <laughs> I don't talk like that. So you might. Maybe you Yeah, the world card in this in the reverse here. You're on the new cycles. Okay king of wands but somebody's having a hard time letting go of you could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay um this could be somebody at a distance from you they could be watching you on the internet in some sort of way of course with the world card here you know it could definitely be a taurus What the fuck do they want? I don't get it. What what can somebody do? How do they benefit from fucking worlds away? I don't get it. The temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius, Ace of Swords. Somebody who's just not dishonest with themselves, you know, and like hurts other people with their actions, okay? And then they act this is okay, oh good lord. This is the type of person, alright, um, who basically 
I said this often on my channel, um, they throw the rock and then they hide their hand. This person who lacks any form of accountability, they cause a lot of pain with their actions, they claim victim to their actions, okay? And there's something here about the past catching up with this individual. So there might be somebody watching or trying to cling on to you here because they know that clinging on to you will protect them. When you left their life, Capricorn, you left with all the protection that this individual had. All of it all of it all of their lies all of the manipulation everything is catching up to this individual all right so now this individual might be i don't know it's like they're trying to cling on to the past you could have been dating this person could have been a gemini again you could have any of these energies in your chart always flip it and reverse it as needed but somebody here is unstable without you the knight of cups here so be careful about greedy individuals clinging on to you except for, especially people that you're trying to move on from okay yeah, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Be careful. I wouldn't always believe what they say. The Star card in the reverse could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with here. But this is like, there's some truth that's going to come out that you're going to be really disappointed with. Somebody's been trying to hide it for the longest time, but it's about to backfire on them. So basically, if somebody's been lying to you about something, they've been holding secrets here uh, because they're selfish. They, it, they're, they're losing their grip here. Ten of Cups in the reverse. They're about to lose it all. I don't understand though this could be about money maybe this person stole money from you for some of you guys okay all right moving on confession feelings being expressed okay the death card in the reverse could be a scorpio coming towards you guys confessing some sort of feelings um yeah double scorpio energy double uh we have scorpio and then we have aries all right somebody could want a new beginning with you you might be shocked by this the queen of swords and you're going to be real hesitant about it as well i see you definitely standing your ground five of wands in the reverse like you're not fighting you're not being combative you're not being negative petty anything you are open to it seven of swords in the reverse but you recognize that this person has a tendency to like i'm hearing ghost or lie or do these things and kind of you know they just they float in and out here they have a tendency okay escapism they have a tendency for escapism the judgment in the reverse yeah <sighs> There's this thing about like you don't believe this person changed. Uh, and this is the third Scorpio card. So either you have Scorpio in your chart and this is happening, or again, you could be dealing with Scorpio. But um could be a Virgo, even. I don't know, this person's gonna be like, I went within and I failed to see opportunities in the past and the hangman, I was stuck in a certain way of thinking, but I'm not stuck now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Uh, eight of swords here the emperor card this person is the type of individual who feels like they they have a clear idea what's interesting capricorns kind of be real it's kind of ironic right this person feels like they have some sort of clarity about you and the clarity that they feel towards you like they feel like they know exactly who you are to them right but what's interesting though is the clarity that they have is the clarity that you fucking need about like just your life and your manifestations and like what direction you want to go in. So it's pretty ironic how it's kind of manifesting in that way and how the universe really mirrors that onto you. Now, I'm not saying that this person's right or what they did in the past. I have no idea your freaking story. I typically don't share things like this, but I mean, if the message comes out, it comes out and I'm going to share it. Uh, but anyways, you have somebody coming forth and they're really going to drop a love bomb on you, basically. Tell me about powerful aura, divine in the flesh. We have the page of cups in the reverse. Why are you playing small? absolutely not the hermit card in the reverse you have so much wisdom you have so much light to share but it's like your go-to mode and i think it's just because you're tired you're exhausted right your go-to mode though is self-preservation now you have to understand that when you're trying to preserve yourself and you're trying to preserve your energy your light etc and then you're also trying to use it to manifest you're giving mixed messages you are not clear with what you want Okay, so you have to understand that sometimes when you're like, protect me, protect me, protect you, me, it also protects you from opportunities. And the reason that it protects you from those opportunities is because you've got to know how to handle and navigate controversy. You've got to know how to handle life. And if you don't know how to handle certain things and you're not ready for certain level ups, 
and that's just how it goes. I mean, there's so many people, like, for example, here, there's so many people that are like, I want to be a tarot reader, I want to be an astrologist, etc., etc. And then you see these things, and rest in peace, of course, but like that girl on Twitter who recently uh, went into a spiritual psychosis, okay? You know, it's not meant for everyone. Not like that, yes, your own spirituality, your own path, etc. but like certain things are not meant for everyone. And it's really important to know what you like as a hobby, but what you should actually do as your purpose. And there's a lot of lessons that are being learned in regards to that, okay? Basically, what I want to remind you is that just because you like football does not mean that you have the physical, athletic body that you need to play football, that's why you're not on the field, you know? And if you are a famous football player, cool. But <laughs> I don't watch football, so I don't care. I probably don't even know you exist. Uh, but, and not to dismiss you, I'm just being real. But here's the deal. It, it's that type of energy um, of, you know, a lot of people like football, but they're, they're aware that they don't have the capacity to play football. So there's this greater awareness here that's being built. But for whatever reason, Capricorns, you continuously doubt yourself. It's like you emotionally manipulate yourself out of what you want here. With the Hermit card in the reverse, again, you you know exactly what you're... You have everything that you need. But you're not taking the opportunity. For some reason, you're holding back. Four of Cups in the reverse talks about a missed opportunity. Okay, eight of cups in the reverse because maybe you're holding on to something from the past. Not everything is meant for you. And just because not everything is meant for you, that doesn't mean that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now I get why I brought this all up. I'm like, why am I bringing this all up? Because that's going to be like a whole video that I plan to share whenever the fuck I decide to share it. But the thing is the whole like talk about spiritual psychosis and stuff like that. You're not in a spiritual psychosis, by the way. And that's not I don't want to generalize sweep this, but whoever's resonating with this here. The thing is, it's like you are, though, in a weird way of you're almost doubting yourself and your gifts. You're doubting your your powers here. You're, you're doubting that you are right for the team. And I think it's because you've been through so much. But that's why we have your perseverance is about to be rewarded. It's going to get easier. Spirit's hugging you. You've been through a lot, okay? And you are safe. Like, you are going to create generational wealth. You have these visions. You have these dreams for a reason, okay? Mm -hmm. Tell me what we have here. Your perseverance is about to be rewarded. Nine of Swords, and you don't even see it coming. You're about to be so fucking fulfilled, so fucking happy, Capricorns. Do you know? Look at this. Your perseverance is about to be rewarded, but you're so stressed out and in your head right now. Babies, you need to understand. Your head, your mind right now, my loves, is on a whole different timeline, and your body is just trying to catch up. Your body is trying to catch up because your mind is so far in the future that you've become disconnected with your body. And that's why you can't see that your perseverance is about to be rewarded. Baby, you have so many, this, this spread is full of amazing opportunities and great energy, okay? But you need to slow down in order to speed up your abundance. And that's what spirit just keeps saying, like recognize you're focusing on all the wrongs, you know, not on what's going right here. You are in your power. You are backed by your ancestors. You have, obliterated and generational curses and belief systems that have hindered your ancestors and family lineage for so long for a lot of you guys for some of you guys this is that inner child healing that you've been doing and there's a lot of this coming through um you know and again this healing that you've done like your ancestors are so proud of you there's nothing for you to fear right now the nine of swords talks about anxiety right and the thing about anxiety is anxiety is based on the future and the future doesn't exist and neither does the past so you can't go back and change anything because that doesn't exist. The only thing that exists is right here, right now, this current moment. And your intuition only knows this current moment, okay? So that's how you can tell your intuition versus like your anxiety. Your anxiety is going to be future predictions. Your depression is going to be due to something of the past, a memory of, that's malleable in the past. And your intuition only knows the present moment because time doesn't exist. 
So your intuition is like, I want to do this right now. And you're like, why would I want to do this right now? That's fucking weird. Because, because baby, that's what it's like being connected to your higher self. You don't need to understand it. The thing is, is the human mind wants to like make everything logical and be very analytical about the way that it goes about things because it continues fueling the ego. And so there's something here, again, distort you're clearing through these distortions you're clearing through so much just give yourself a little more grace all right you have so much happiness and healing coming in for you you're go it's going to get easier spirit is hugging you is clarified by the four of cups some of you guys are need like a meditation hug straight up okay a meditation hug yes queen of wands there's gonna be a rebuild in your confidence some of you guys are quitting some sort of bad habits i'm hearing as well which is really good or there's a need for you to eliminate some sort of like bad habits okay um and the bad habit could also be like underestimating yourself or you know thinking that you're not good enough for something or whatever it is whatever all right uh whatever it may be for you but i definitely see you stepping into your power you see the thing about the queen of wands is she is somebody you guys yeah, there's something care about your beauty, your health as well. Some of you guys have been struggling with some sort of like health issues, okay? So if you have been struggling with health, health issues, that's going to change. Why is my forehead so fucking shiny all the time? Oh. It's just like, I. it's really annoying. It makes me look like I'm oily, but I swear I'm not. Maybe I was a little bit. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm like, actually, it's looking a little more matte now. Now it's like the normal shine. So, uh, yeah, just greasing y'all up, okay? Instead of gassing, we grease in, okay? This is what happens over here. You are safe. <laughs> I love how this happened. This is so on brand for me, okay? Very on brand. Ooh, baby, the judgment card. It is your good karma to be safe. You are allowed to feel your feelings deeply, to experience, <laughs> all right, to experience everything. Um, Anyway, it's, what am I seeing here? This is where you're making those final decisions. You're safe as you're making decisions and deciding what your next chapter looks like. You are safe during this transitional, uh, transformational period that you're undergoing right now. You are safe as you are delicately navigating these energies that you're not used to. You're learning them. You're like, what the fuck is this? You know, you're learning this energy and you're mastering it um, and, and you're divinely protected as you navigate this. But you do need to be kinder to yourself. The King of Cups was in the reverse. It's like you don't trust yourself or like there's like this almost like emotionally manipulating yourself. Again, watch that inner critic. OK, yeah. Page of Pentacles or it's like the external critics. You're also safe from like false friends, false energies, bad news, external bad critics, okay? Yeah, anything that's just not fair. The justice card in the reverse. Um, these people are being dealt with individually and you are safe to navigate your journey here. I love to see it. Keep following your intuition straight to your fucking wish fulfillment. Cappies. Oh, baby. You see, sometimes we, we got to have, you can't have one without the other. You can't have light without dark. You can't have yin without the yang. So last week, that was a little bit of a rougher energy. I get it, you know, but this makes sense. It, may, it all makes sense. You got to reach the darkest steps in order to really have these bright moments. And this is what's happening for you. So let's go ahead and finish clarifying it. Self-mastery manipulation no longer works on you. Yep, you have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright bottom of the deck. We have the King of Swords. You could say what you want, but I know who I am. You know, you you understand here. You understand like your impact. You're too intelligent. You're too discerning. You're too witty. You're you're smart. You're very 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 smart. You're emotionally smart. You're intellectually smart. Okay, and that right there is obviously people are going to try to manipulate that right because it's like you're also kind and you're generous and you're sweet and you're you're cute you're handsome whatever it is right you're all these different things so it's like when people first meet you they approach you how they would everyone else in their reality but you're the, going to be the catalyst for their growth hmm. you are literally 
yeah, you are the spark basically to their flame. So you're gonna basically, okay, whatever. Anyways, creating generational wealth. Baby, the Ten of Cups right out there here for confirmation. Thank you, Retrograde. Slow down, Capricorns. Uh, allow me to be the example of what it looks like when you're moving too fast. You'll trip over your own words and look a fool while filming live. <laughs> All right. Uh, creating generational wealth, though. Your ancestors are so proud of you, Capricorns. There's, there's really nothing blocking you. Again, you have everything that you need absolutely everything that you need you have all the divine support you have the wisdom you have the emotional intelligence you have the tools you have every opportunity you know those that come after you here they're not gonna be easily manipulated either. You know, like these are individuals, you're, if, if you're a parent, for those of you guys that are like parents, right? I really feel like you're also raising a generation, okay? Of like children who are truly in their power. Um, and I feel like, you know, your children are everything you weren't safe enough to be as a kid. And that alone says so much about you um and there might be some sort of like realization about that you might realize that you're just handling situations so differently and life looks differently you know um that's always a really really good feeling i've got three kids of my own and definitely something like my kids are fucking smart you guys have no idea so they're super great kids anyways <laughs> i love my kids will literally it, they could go through comments on my video and be like oh this person's doing this because they're projecting this or they want to deflect that and they'll read you to filth okay you don't want to deal with them that next generation <laughs> <laughs> not for the faint of heart let's just say okay uh so anyways more power to all of you here i think you guys are doing fucking great spiritual inheritance is clarified by the two of swords in the reverse <coughs> and the eight of cups yeah sometimes we're forced to let go of things from the past in order to kind of clear the path for a new to come in all right, some of you guys are still shedding um, some sort of detach, or I'm sorry, some sort of injustices um, that you still identify very heavily with, okay? So you're shedding some sort of, yeah, lover's card. Could have been. Lots of rainbows. You can be seeing rainbows. Maybe it's raining where you're at. Okay, there's lots of rainbows on all these cards here. A wolf can be significant to somebody here as well. Ten of Pentacles, huh? Some of you guys weren't done right by family or by people closest to you. You're getting justice for this. What am I, spiritual inheritance? Yeah, I don't know. You have gifts coming in from like your ancestors. And they're being integrated into your heart chakra right now. Ace of Wands. If you're feeling like uninspired at this moment um, or feeling like you, you don't even know what to do, where to go, again, it's because you're receiving all of this energy. You're receiving all of the spiritual inheritance at this point in time right now. And it's kind of a lot. Like it comes in and, and you're just like, what the fuck is this energy? I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm done with life. I don't want to do anything anymore. Like it's kind of coming through like that, you know, and it's a lot and it's coming into your heart space too. So there could be like heart palpitations. Of course, I'm not a medic or a medical professional in any way. So of course, go to the doctor if you need to but um it does feel like heart palpitations and again these could just be these upgrades that are happening for you all right and then let's go to the final card here guys fatally obsessed with you knight of pentacles and the reverse and the ace of pentacles so this person's stuck in their own like purgatory their own making while they're watching you reach your new beginnings it's somebody from your past here okay this is like somebody from your past life that's been obsessed with you for lifetimes. The strength card. A Leo. 
whoever this is, this person's a coward. You get a Leo on your chart, of course. Always flip it and reverse it as needed. Temperance card. Um, they're, oh goodness. This person's really creating a lot of problems for themselves. And I think they're finally becoming aware of it because of their obsession with you. This person's really quick to be like the first one to like look at things as soon as you post them. Remember, I was picking up some weird online stalker here. But it's like this person, they want to just, I don't know. Like, well, look at this energy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, oh, let me, sorry. Hold on. I gotta cover her Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We had to cover her Yeti, though, for YouTube. All right. 18 and up only. I click that on my videos, but I'm pretty sure we can't free the nipple on my channel here. Um, but do you see how, like, these two people are, like, worshipping that one person here? They're, like, looking up at that person. So it's odd because it's, like, this person, like, worships you in <laughs> some sort of way, Capricorns. I don't know who the fuck you're dealing with. I really don't. I'm over it. I'm over it here. You got some weirdo fatally obsessed with you, though, and I don't care to give it any attention. Uh, <laughs> this person can continue giving you all of their power and energy. Uh, that's, yeah, evil eye. Ugh. This person's giving you a lot of evil eye, too. Uh, alchemize that shit. Alchemize it. Alchemize it. All the energy that people spit at me here, it just makes me wealthier, prettier, more success. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, not kidding. But like, really, you have to watch what people, you know, throw in your way and uh, transmute it. Transmute it. You are a master alchemist. All right, be careful. People trying to like start drama to distract you here, trying to get you out of character, you know, because it helps align uh, whatever narrative they have of you in their brains. Let's talk money. Yeah, I can see people like throwing fits right now. I don't know why there's somebody throwing a fit. An adult tantrum. Messages, please. For Capricorn's finances and career. Messages for Capricorn's finances and career. Most important message this week. Thank you, spirit guides. Hmm. Okay. Jeez. Mm, Messages, please. Cap points. Bonus check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your overall energy here. Remember those wings I mentioned? We got the wings showing up too. Overall energy though is the Clover card. Ooh, nice. Increase in income is right behind that as well. There is a lot of good fortune around you, Capricorn, especially in regards to you guys taking risks. The greater the risk, the greater the reward, okay? You are definitely in alignment with your life purpose and things are really about to take off for you, specifically if you are an entrepreneur in some sort of way. I definitely feel like there's somebody here who is currently living on some sort of retirement, some sort of savings, severance, package whatever it may be okay and you're kind of just waiting for like the next thing to kind of come around or waiting i don't know it's like you're not just waiting around you're taking action here um but there's something here about like your hobby or something creating an income for you okay something that goes temporary to more permanent for you We have the two of wands in the reverse. Continue working towards this. Yeah, justice cards. Some of you guys to create significant contracts. If you have any legal issues going on, there could be legal issues going in your favor this week, of course. Some of you guys could get some sort of like check. Queen of Pentacles, clarifying the bonus check. We love to see it. You and your power. You showed up as the Queen of Pentacles very strongly throughout this reading, Capricorns. Um, so you could definitely have strong Taurus in your chart, but you don't have to. All right. Uh, messages, please. Severance or retirement? Clarifying that. Yeah, the Empress card. You invest your money really well. Uh, this message this week is very straightforward. It's investing your money well. And what? It, how do we invest our money well? We invest it into what fuels us okay we invest it into things that we are passionate about here the world card some of you guys it's an online business straight up and you're about to take off you're going into a brand new cycle here you're definitely stepping in your power seven of pentacles here this has been a long time coming like you've i don't know, you've been getting intuitive nudges here but you didn't follow through with it it had to happen so some of you guys like lost your job for a reason to redirect you here the devil card all right some of you guys were just way too attached like you know a paycheck that's more often than not what stops people they're attached they're attached to like a paycheck that nine to five here and that ha they have the scarcity mentality etc 
So definitely this one was short, straight to the point, very easy. And yeah, is there anything else that you want to say for Capricorns? Because I feel like that's not going to be for like everyone. But yes, yeah, smooth sailing. There could be lots of accolades coming in. Okay. Sharing your message. You could be a podcaster as well. Uh, some of you guys have a podcast. And there's something here about getting more attention. I'm going to be really on honest here. If you have a podcast, I do see somebody saying negative some saying something negative about your podcast but a lot of people agree with you not the individual that tried to paint you in a negative light in some sort of way so it makes them look stupid and you got free advertisement so congratulations there yeah freedom mindset <laughs> just because you think outside the box here does not mean that you know life is one size fits all and this person is gonna learn that we do have inheritance some of you guys could be specifically inheriting something this week as well all right, we have ring. Some of you guys are moving in with a partner. Or there's something they care about working with a partner, fulfilling career, anything else. Be careful of imposter syndrome or whatever imposter syndrome that you are experiencing, you are gonna overcome. It is showing up with the crown card, which is like overcoming obstacles. And your overall energy, again, is feather. So now you have this, all right? Feather card showing up, abundance, easy money, divine intervention. Some of you guys could be traveling coming up or there's significant travel happening for you. Some of you guys are needing to take a trip. Also, I'm hearing like you need to lighten up, go take a trip. Um, there might be yeah whatever you think is a setback is not a setback it is like a divine redirection right now i don't know capricorns i just feel like telling you like relax relax everything's gonna work out in your favor okay and as i say that that's one two three on the on the likes there which is really great one two three representing that progress there one two three tells you to continue putting in the efforts because they're going to pay off so i love seeing that let's get into love life cappies congratulations all of you uh that are running your own business this week because that message was really for my business owners in whatever way okay you can be influencers even just whatever um way that we may make our own money uh yeah messages please for capricorn's love life wedding rings so definitely moving to the next step here with a partner we have lightning sudden changes and Cupid's arrow. Hmm. Interesting. You or your partner might be a little more cleany this week. Okay. Uh, for those of you guys, hold on. For some of you, you have like an ex partner, ex wife, ex husband coming through. Message, please, for Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Like I said, an X. For some of you guys, <laughs> it's an X coming through. All right. Messages, please. The Queen of Cups. Uh, they're coming through with some deep emotions for you. And we do have the Page of Cups here. Overall energy love call with the world card and the moon card in the reverse. For those of you guys that are like in a long-term relationship, marriage, whatever it may be, I do th feel like there's something here that changes significantly. Okay, there's this weird energy around. Somebody's clingy. Some something's changed. All right. And, and what's weird is that their energy is stemming from some, like, wounding pattern. Some, like, emotional immaturity. I mean, when the Page of Cups comes up in the reverse, they're just so emotionally immature at that point that you can't get through to them. You know what I mean? Why is my camera so freaking high up there? Okay. They can't, like, get through to them. Um... It's almost like the stubbornness of like trying to explain to a young kid about something, but they're not understanding it. Um, but it does stem from their childhood, though. And this person, it's like their love language towards you this week and whatever way, whether you've been married for a long time or not, somebody's love language towards you or your love language towards them is...
a wounding pattern. But I'm, it's not unfortunately, but what's needed here is for you, for someone, how do I say this, please? Sometimes we have to nurture our child's inner, our child's inner partner nice. <laughs> our partner's inner child. I'm struggling, okay? Sometimes we need to nurture our partner's inner child, or sometimes it's our own inner child that needs to be nurtured. And now partner, or parent-child, like paradigms within relationships are not always healthy. However, sometimes it is beneficial to like give the space. So for example, when I was, I, I just use myself as an example every time, but when I was a kid, I definitely could not speak up a lot in my life. You know, I could definitely not say how it felt or anything like that. And then as I grew up in the relationships, I got in like very narcissistic relationships, also could not have like an opinion or anything, you know. And so now the safety like in a relationship here with the inner child is feeling safe enough to like express those emotions you know and that could be the way that it's coming through but it's almost coming through in a way of trauma dumping which there has to be a fine line there like you really gotta pay attention to what the threshold is for your like the capacity at which you can actually hold space for that person or vice versa you know um but make sure that's still supportive at the same time. That's why I'm trying to be really delicate. I'm not doing a good job. Like, I'm completely slaughtering this. So I do apologize. I'm trying my best here, but it's late. And it's, yeah, maybe I need more coffee. I don't know. My coffee is my Adderall. Mm. I can add to that if you want. Yeah, do you want to come say something? Yeah. Okay. My wife would like to add to this. Do you want to be on camera or do you want to be back there? I'll be back here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think you were explaining it pretty well. It's just there's a delicate balance between both nurturing your own inner child and nurturing that of your partner. And sometimes that can be, especially in a trauma dumping situation, being like, baby, I love you. I hear you. I know you want to be heard, but I got to set a boundary here for you. And, you know, maybe you need some space or how can I support you in a way where we can move through these energies instead of perpetuating old traumas or reliving those traumas mm -hmm. and so i'm really addressing the core wounding pattern and why these things are you know coming up in the first place here i definitely feel like there's a little bit of codependency there could be something here with a water sign child also okay what well, cancer Pisces, scorpio child um i feel like this person this child is kind of emotionally irregulated this week um and there's really a need your child needs to stem so they need your child might have ADHD um if you're having it uh stemming is a very normal thing what the mic back around. oh shit the mic sorry uh, sorry about that sorry guys sorry sorry uh I have so this mic has different settings and uh, I have it on just like the straightforward setting. So like whenever you see somebody who's using this microphone and they have it tilted towards them, they're an idiot. Quite literally, they don't even know how to read basic directions. Okay, because you don't need to tilt the microphone towards you. You're actually not meant to, not this type of microphone. It's a podcasting microphone, so, um, or gaming microphone, whatever. But anyways, uh, yeah. I made the dumb move just now and the idiot move because, hey, I'm an idiot, so love it. I own it. <laughs> all right. Uh, yes. All right. Let's see what we have, though. Anything else about love this week, please, for my Capricorns? Not enough. Y'all feeling frustrated in a relationship for some of you guys, okay? Some of you guys were really hurt. Oh, this is a totally different. So if you, if somebody had chosen a, another person over you, this is a whole different storyline. This person's going to try coming back and you're not fucking having it. You're going to be real shocked. Yeah, separation healthy choices in the reverse and healing heart like you've already healed from this situation so you have a lot of individuals from the past coming around because you've transformed you've changed you've grown tell me about this these six of wands in the reverse they weren't successful without you that's for sure the king of swords and the upright they want to come forth they want to talk they want to communicate this person 
they're very, yeah, you're just, you're, you're, you're like, maybe I can forgive, but I don't forget. I'm not stupid enough to. This could have been a Pisces for some of you guys, okay, or an Aquarius. Um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know. This person just looks like an opportunist. I'd be careful of just like opportunists coming back around uh, because these people are snakes. You know, what's that saying where it's like a snake doesn't shed its skin? Or no, a snake doesn't transform. It only sheds its skin and gets bigger, right? A snake is still a snake. Hammer card in the reverse. Yeah, this person just sabotaged their opportunity out of your life. Whatever. Okay, messages for Cappies. Let's see what we've got. Messages, please, for Capricorns. Okay. Silent your mind. Connect with your soul. Ground your energy. Again, Capricorns, your mind is way faster right now than your body. So there needs to be... You need to touch down. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Even if you don't understand them, maybe keep a dream journal. Sage and declutter. Make sure that you are cleansing your home, organizing your home. You give so selflessly. It's your turn to receive. We have new love is coming and external energies are impacting you. Take a salt bath and cleanse your aura. You are a light. Tap into the truth. Top of the deck here is pay attention to the animals around you and center the deck as we acknowledge all of your effort and growth. Okay. Readmission denied. Yes, baby. Uh, yes. By the way, Capricorns, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the likes, the support, the shares, the bookings, all of it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been a huge staple in my journey here. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Good luck, guys.